Hey everybody, and welcome to Commission Control for a Future Focus video. In this video, we're going to talk about the Capture Programmer. When using the full version of Capture, this will be the version you purchase from Capture and use on a secondary PC, not the built-in Capture component of Titan. You have the option to save color, gobo, position, palettes, as well as cues and playbacks. These will also auto-legend the item with the current live view of Capture, except for gobo and beam palettes, which will use just the next available palette number. You first want to make sure the Capture computer and Titan are talking. In the Project window of Capture, select the Universes tab, and set the Project Console link to the console you are using. Now you can see here, circled in red. If you don't see the console listed, check the network is set correctly, IPs, etc. Uh, disable any firewalls, uh, try restarting, start Capture first, then the console. We'll set the look for recording. Select the fixture or fixtures you want to set the queue size pattern information on. Then click the power button. Now the capture fixture control window will appear in the bottom left corner. You can use the controls to set the look. You can also right click on a spot in the uh, capture view and all the selected fixtures will pan tilt to that spot. Once you have the look you want, click the record button in the bottom right hand corner of capture, circled here in red, and then select the record in XXX, XXX being the uh, console's name slash IP. Now select the look you, what you want to record, a color, gobo, or position palette or a queue by setting the type. Then set the record mode if recording a queue, fixture channel stage. The record mode has no effect when recording a palette. Position, color, and gobo palettes will fill it to the same as quick recording. So colors only go in colors, positions only go in positions, everything else goes in gobo and beams. After recording the queue slash palette, the color and position palettes will go to the expected palette window with the live view of the capture as a legend. Gobo and beam palettes as a version 16 will go to the show library and can be copied or moved to the Gobo and Beams palette window. Cues will be saved to the Playbacks workspace and legend with the live view of Capture. They can also be copied or moved to a fader or executor key. You can clear the Capture programmer in two ways. Click the record icon in the Capture window and then select Clear in XXX or on the console, press and hold the Clear key and then click Clear All Programmers on the soft keys. So let's have a look at all that. So here I am, a version 16 of Titan on the Titan Go virtual interface, as well as I got the full version of Capture uh, open also. Let's go ahead and make that uh, full screen to make it a little easier to see today. And you see down here in the bottom left corner, we've got the Project Console link, and we have it currently set to see our Titan mobile with the IP of 10.147.16.20, which is perfect. So we'll go ahead and collapse this window down. And I'll go ahead and make this one big, make it a little easier to work with today. So first, if I wanted to uh, select some fixtures, I can do it one of two ways. I can either select it through Titan or by just clicking it on a, uh, the fixtures in here. And since we're going to click in our BMFL, since they're all in one large group, automatically selects for us. Maybe now if we click the uh, power looking button, we can bring up our controls for our fixtures here in Capture. Now we go ahead and click the uh, light bulb here to make them go ahead and turn on. And we'll go ahead and set them back to... Uh, no color there, and an open gobo on all of them. Then you go through and set the different controls we want for the uh, what we want to do. We'll go ahead and record a, a playback first. So go ahead and we'll see here. We'll set it to be oh this gobo, and we'll make our color saturated here. And then for positioning, I can use the pan and tilt controls here. Or I can right click on the capture view here and have one of lights point at that spot. So I can right click here, you can see all my fixtures go pointing to there, or here we can point them at our lead singer or one of our guitar players, or we can go back here to our drummer. We'll go ahead and point them all at our lead singer. Uh, that look ex I think is great, exactly what I want. So we're going to click the record button down here in the bottom right and then choose record and Titan mobile with the IP. I'm going to set what type. I'm going to use. We can change it to Q. Record mode, uh, channel fixture stage works just as they do uh, in regular Titan. Fixture will be great for what we're about to do. And we'll go ahead and click record. And then to clear it, we'll go ahead and click on the record button again. And we'll go ahead and hit clear here. See it clears them out. And we'll click off of it to deselect our fixtures. So if we go back to being able to see Titan also, now we'll actually go ahead and make that full screen. If I was to open up my Playbacks workspace, we'll double click open slash view, and we'll find playbacks, and we see that it added a new playback with a live view of what we saw in Capture. So just to make sure it'll show everything's 
doing as expected, we'll go ahead and locate those fixtures, then we'll hit clear, and we'll fire this playback and see that they point where we expected in red with the uh, Chicklets Gobo. So back here in Capture, uh, say instead this time we want to uh, select our BMFLs again, and uh, we want to record a position palette. We go ahead and click the Home uh, key here in Capture, which for some reason puts a small iris on things. I have no idea why it does that, but we would make it the iris large again. Uh, say we want to record a position palette. Say we want to record a position palette that points all of our lights right here. Again, we can just right click and have them all go there, or here on our guy, or here. Let's do all of them pointing up. Say that's the position palette we want. We go ahead and hit record, and then record and tighten. Position palette is perfect, so we'll go ahead and click record. And before we go back to Titan, we'll record a second one and point them all down. Record and Titan. Again, position palette, record. And we'll go ahead and bring both up at the same time. So again, I can clear all the programmers in uh, Titan and on any uh, externals, such as Capture, by pressing and hold on the clear button or right click on the Titan Go interface. And the soft keys to use clear all programmers and see it clear our programmer on Capture also. Now, if we look in our position palettes, what do we see? We have two new position palettes with the live look of, of capture when it was uh, recorded. So we'll go ahead and select our BMFLs and we'll throw a locate on them. And we'll go ahead and fire this palette. We see it goes where we expect. Or if we fire here, it goes this palette. It goes exactly where we would expect. Let's go ahead and make a color palette. So we'll go ahead and select our DL7s here and we'll give them a locate just so we can see some light coming out of them. And we'll go back to capture large screen here. And I'll go ahead and set a color form. Go ahead and go, let's drag it into a nice hue like this. And adjust their intensity and their saturation. And we give it a moment to catch up. And we'll say we're happy with this color. So we're gonna click record button again, record and tighten. And this time we'll change it to be a color palette. That's perfect, so we'll go ahead and hit record. And we'll change it to another color to show it doing it twice. And we get a nice, oh, green. Say we're happy with that. We'll click the record again. Record and tighten. Change it to be a color palette. And hit record. Now we'll go back to uh, showing both again. So we can press and hold clear. And then clear all programmers just to have that all out of there. So now we can see here we have two new color palettes in our colors window. So if we select our DL7s and give them a locate. And we fire this one. We can see we have that nice pinkish purple or the kind of sea green we had there. And these ones have to record as global shared. We should probably use them on our other fixtures. We'll go ahead and let's just select all three of these and we'll give them a locate. And then we'll fire this one here. Or this one here and see if we get the same. Let's go ahead and next show recording a Gobo or Beam palette. So we'll go ahead and we'll select our BMFLs and give them a locate here in Titan just so we can see them. And we'll go back to our capture. So now if we scroll down here, we can find our, our Gobos. So here we'll go ahead and go to oh, this Gobo here. And if we record that as a palette we want, so we'll go ahead and hit the record button. Record and Titan. Set it to be a Gobo palette. And hit record. And then we'll go ahead and we'll clear our programmer by using it in Titan, pressing and holding clear, and hitting clear our programmers. And we'll go ahead and reselect our BMFLs. And this time we'll go ahead and make an iris playback, or excuse me, palette. And we'll change the iris here to be here. Then we'll go ahead and hit record, record and Titan. Change it to Gobo palette and hit record. And now we'll make a palette that has a zoom in it and iris and oh we'll pick this gobo and intensity let's change our zoom on that one our zoom to right about there i think say we're happy with all that we go ahead and hit again hit the record record and tighten change it to gobo palette and hit record and then we'll go ahead and click on the record button again, clear and tighten. See that we have cleared it out. So now we'll go ahead and go back to uh, our bold view of both. And actually we'll make Titan uh, full screen here.
So as you can see, it did not add any of these palettes to our Grovers and Beams window. So if we go ahead and hit clear here, and we'll go ahead and open up our show library, double clicking open slash view, and opening our show library. And then if we filter it by palettes, and we scroll down here to the unassigned category, you can see we have palettes 96, 97, and 98. So if we were to, uh, we'll resize this window just to make it easy to see stuff here. And we select our VMFLs and give them a locate so we can see them. We see here, this first Gobo recorder has a Gobo and only Gobo in it, as we can see it there. Our second one has just Beam in it, which should just be our iris, which is actually already at that size. So actually, we'll go ahead and do this. We'll put them at uh, a small iris. We'll hit clear. We'll reselect them. Turn their intensity up just so we can see them. And then fire this iris palette and see it has just the iris in it. And the last one here, it has intensity, gobo, and beam in it. So we go ahead and fire that one. You can see it puts our intensity in the programmer, our gobo, and our zoom and iris. Now we can fire these from here as we saw, or we could always move them to our uh, gobos and beams palette window by just simply clicking move, select which one or all of them, and then putting them in our window here where they can be fired uh, just as one would expect. So that's been the Capture Programmer in version 16 of Titan. Uh, hopefully uh, in the next version of Titan or the next one after that, the uh, Gobos and Beams palettes will go to the Gobos and Beams palette window rather than the unassigned category. I hope you learned something. Join us on Facebook at Dave East US. Join us here next time. Please subscribe. Thanks. Bye. We'll stop. Roger, we'll stop, Discovery. Welcome back. A great ending to the new beginning.